Now, where should I begin? Come on, dude. I know exactly what you want to hear. If everything's all over, why does the midget keep fighting? Why did Mitsuomi kill Sheen? Natsume's already told you guys a little bit? Yeah. You, the midget girl, Mitsuomi Takayanagi, and of course, Sheen Natsume. But the only thing we were told was the basic stuff. We want you to fill us in on the details. All right. Well, I guess I should start with Sheen getting out of the hospital and coming back to school. for a little while and they all start acting like a bunch of hoods. Yeah, well, most of the higher-ups in the Executive Council were all Katana members, remember? So without the backbone of the Council to keep things in order, the whole campus is pretty much in anarchy. Well, that can be fun, too. Come here now! <laughs> I heard you two had your farewell ceremony for Katana last night! Boom! Boom! Chi chi You selfish punks! <sighs> do you know how bad you reek right now? I'm sure I do! I just did 50 squats! My bits are feeling good and stinky! You're up to something crazy, and I know it! <sighs> Damn it, he's still got his cast on! <sighs> I call this move my armpit of anger! <sighs> just make sure you get a good whiff! What? Natsuma's back? Heh, <laughs> what a loser. It's a shame that he came back to the academy only to serve under me. Those are big words coming from a guy who got his ass handed to him by Sheen's sister. It's true. <laughs> to be top dog, you gotta be president of the executive council. And that means we gotta fight in the preliminaries. But we gotta have five of our guys from our club to do that. The prelims are coming up soon, but... Hmm. After Katana broke up, there's no way Natsuma's gonna have enough time to pull together a team of five badasses. Oh yeah, about that. <sighs> I heard that since Sheen went and took out all those guys in Katana, he's gone and created himself a whole new club of his own now. Huh? Word is that this time it's a straightforward martial arts club. What was that name again? No way. Clubs just give you a bunch of bruises. Besides, my injuries haven't healed. Here. I'm here in name only. We still need two more people to enter the preliminaries. You got any ideas? Nope. Doesn't matter who we get. As long as the three of us are dead set on winning, we'll be fine. I see you haven't lost any of your confidence. <laughs> not to me. I don't give a rat's ass whether or not you make a new club. However, this dojo is home to the first and second karate clubs. So I don't know where you were planning on hanging that sign, but it ain't gonna be here, all right? <laughs> Enough chit-chat, Iwao! If you don't like this sign, then come and do something about it. If you want me to take this dojo by force, I got no problem with that. Bring it on. There's around 40 or 50 of them. That's a piece of cake for the three of us. Hey, I don't want nothing to do with this. If you want to fight these guys, then do it on your own. <laughs> Fight! Prepare yourself for super- 
super toxic killer on pit stint attack! Ah, uh, they're so strong. Come on, you guys, get in here and help out! <laughs> Well, looks like we got a new dojo for now. Yeah, but it's pretty big for just the three of us. You know, there is one person I know who might want to join the club. <laughs> so I guess you've heard that Sheen's gone and created a new club. You should join it. Hey, do you remember what I said to you once? I said no matter what happens, the only person I never want to fight in my whole life is Sheen. But now that I know, I just want to avoid him. Even if it means being chastised. Well, that was a lie. Right now, going up against him is actually something that I want more than anything else. My hands still got that shake to him. But they're no longer trembling because of fear. <laughs> it's anticipation. My heart is racing inside my chest right now. Do you know what it's like to feel this pumped up? Come on, answer me. I know you're not sleeping. Set up, position eight. Ready, go! Each woman looks great. I've never seen him this dialed in before. He's definitely over that slump he was in. Hmm. The one true martial artist who stops evil. Right. For many centuries, our family has overseen all forms of the martial arts. The final objective was always to create the one true martial artist who could stand up to whatever form of evil the shadows may produce. <sighs> what is this old man trying to create? All that he seems to be doing is cramming as much talent as possible into this human-shaped shell. Toto's Imperial Martial Arts Contest. Huh? All right, so in the middle of July, over the course of three days, we'll hold the preliminaries for the Imperial Martial Arts Contest. It's the biggest event on campus. It's also the selection process for the Executive Council President and its members. Those of you who are planning on entering should be training around yeah, the clock. Uh, can I say something here? These preliminaries you're talking about, they're all just martial arts clubs going at each other, right? So what happens if you don't belong to a club? What? Take me, for example. I've got no formal martial arts training, but when it comes to straight-out street fighting, I think I'm the biggest badass in class. Eh? The Toto Academy is a school designed for well-mannered and intelligent people to learn about the martial arts, but sometimes scum like you manage to sneak in. Eh? Seeing a crow cackling in a field of falcons is pathetic, don't you think? <laughs> So, scum, you're trembling on the floor already. If you think you're strong enough to take on this whole school, then go ahead. But I do enjoy calling you scum, so I don't think I'll change that. Got a problem with that, scum? Still think you're a badass, scum? What's wrong? You get a little weak in the knees? Did you see something scary? So, the preliminaries for the Imperial Martial Arts Contest. Just what are you doing, huh? So, have you thought about joining us? Pervert. You know, don't try to upset me by looking at my panties, because I could really care less. It's no big deal. I've seen them before. No matter how many times you ask, my answer is still going to be no. Especially if it's a club that my brother created. Is that clear? Come on, will you please reconsider? 
Ever since Sheen went and wiped out the entire Katana Club, his image has been really bad. Nobody's willing to join the club. They're all scared of him. Besides, you have to admit that you played a small part in causing all of this. <laughs> in fact, if we're being honest, it was a big part you played. All right, if you're going to play like that, then I suggest that we follow school rules. Fight me over it. With pleasure. Must play this game all the time. You tried to fool me. You look like you've never played a video game in your life. Same goes for you. All those times you were out skipping class, you were actually just coming here. Sounds good to me. So bad yourself, but we'll never settle anything like this. Huh? Well, how about we let this fortune capsule decide our fate for us? Sure, that's fine with me. All right, if it's a good fortune, then you win. But if it's bad, then I win. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Here I go. Okay. What are you doing? Hey! We're splitting that bill, you know. Don't stiff me. Uh, hey! Mitsuomi. Tell me, have you ever killed anyone before? Uh, no. Never. Well, that's what I thought, and neither have I. But you know, there may come a day when my opponent will end up dead. The fights that I've had lately have been like that. You know, my brother has. It wasn't a mistake either. He meant to. Eight years ago, when he was ten years old, and I had just barely turned eight. Big brother! Big brother! It's dangerous here, Maya. Get down! Our parents are martial artists. This stuff doesn't bother me. Come on! Look what Father gave me! Wow, that's great! Hands up! This one's mine! When Father handed this katana to me, he gave me very strict orders. He said I shouldn't let anyone touch it, no matter what! Huh? But why? Hmm... You know, I don't really know. But both Father and Mother were very clear and said that not even they can touch this katana. Really? You're hmm. lucky, Maya. Mom and Dad gave you a really cool katana today. You know what? If you beg me and tell me that you really, really want to see it, I just might let you hold it for a little bit.
climb us all. How foolish my son is. There is no way that his power is strong enough to wield something as enormous as this. If the Twelve Clans find this out, it'll not only create problems for him, but for our entire family. For now, no one else is to come down here, especially Aya. Big Brother, I brought you some rice crackers. They're your favorite, right? Big Brother? <laughs> Where am I? What happened? Dragon's Eye controls heaven and earth. By having access to all forms of chi, they can see into the past and reach into the dimensions to see things that are happening a thousand leagues away from them. <laughs> so in other words, when my brother was locked up inside that cell, he was alone in the middle of all consciousness. For a ten-year-old boy, that was far more than he could handle. Everything is inside here. And still, nobody will even look at me. No one knows that I'm here. It's as if I'm invisible or something. This is the shadows. Everything's fine, big brother. You're right here standing in front of me. And Maya's right here, holding on to you. Hoping to escape the watch of the Twelve Clans, Father arranged for my brother to live with our elders in the Tohoku. Then, he led him out of the dungeon. But that night... Separate us. <laughs> After that, my brother was left empty. And now, all that's left inside him is that power. That power has destroyed him. You see, his soul was far too weak to challenge it. Knowing what he went through, the thought of becoming stronger scares me. But aren't you more afraid of doing nothing? I gotta go. I'm sure it's hard to watch him struggle, but leaving him alone is even scarier. So that's why I'm gonna carry him on my back. You've been carrying that load for far too long. You're not alone anymore. There you go with those cheap lines that tug at my heart. Preliminaries being next week, we need to figure out how we're going to get two more team members as soon as possible. Mitsuomi, what's up? Didn't you say that you had a lead? Well, I did, but they said no. Another one, huh? Well, I haven't even looked. Didn't even try. Ah, you asshole! What? Go out there and find someone! Hell no! You ought to be grateful I'm even here! So back off! This is Scum. He's a little souvenir from my class. I brought him here to you guys because he mentioned something about wanting to be in the preliminaries. Uh, nice to meet you. I'll join the club for now, but our bet is still on. I think we owe it to ourselves to find something better than a fortune to settle our fate.
light and shadow, throwing oneself into the flame, knowing you're going to get burned. Next episode of Tenjo Tenge, Stratagem. Big Brother, challenge the fate that lies before you.